Peneliti di University of Washington sedang menguji aplikasi ponsel Second Chance yang diharap bisa membantu menanggulangi krisis penyalahgunaan opioid di Amerika Serikat. We send an inaudible sound signal using the smartphone speaker. And this sound signal gets reflected off the person's body. Say I'm like in front of it, it it's going to get reflected off me, off my chest. And then this reflection is now recorded by the smartphone's microphone. Bila nafas pengguna turun ke bawah 7 nafas per menit, aplikasi ini bisa melakukan panggilan ke nomor darurat. We anticipate that the application will be able to connect with friends and family uh, who hopefully are carrying naloxone, which is the overdose antidote, um, as well as have the capability to escalate to calling 911 or EMS to help keep people safe if they were to experience an overdose. Rata-rata di Amerika Serikat ada 40 kematian setiap hari akibat overdosis opioid, peningkatan empat kali lipat sejak 1999. Amerika Serikat mencatat penyalahgunaan opioid tertinggi di dunia. Selama 2017 kemarin tercatat sekitar 72 ribu orang meninggal dunia akibat overdosis. Separuh lebih diantaranya adalah akibat penyalahgunaan opioid. Root aktivis angka ini terpengaruh oleh stigma terhadap pecandu. Right now, there's a lot of people using alone for a lot of reasons, and anything we can do to support them and make sure they will live, and we don't have to tell a parent that their child has died, will be a positive. I think it can be the difference between life and death. I think uh, a lot of times there's a lot of stigma and a lot of shame related to drug use, and if we can make it a place where it's safer, what we're doing is we're reducing overdoses. Uji coba dilakukan terhadap 94 pengguna narkoba dan sejauh ini tingkat akurasi aplikasi Second Chance dalam mendeteksi overdosis mencapai 90 persen. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi, VOA.